Hey guys, it's Monica. Um, today I am going to do a fun makeup challenge that my friends uh, suggested to me where you take your makeup collection and you go through and you number everything and it's a randomly generated makeup look. So I go through and I number all of my eyeshadow palettes and then I go into Google. I put it into a random number generator, whichever number I get, that's the palette I have to use. Um, I will definitely insert clips of me choosing all of the numbers uh, when we get to those portions. But for now, I have everything that was picked in this bag. So we're gonna make a makeup look out of it. So let's get started. So I went ahead and did my face makeup, which is my foundation, my concealer. Um, I also put a little bit of eyebrow gel in so that way it's dry so I can do my eyebrows later. Um, I think I'm gonna start now with my eyeshadow. And the one that I ended up picking was number two, which is the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eye Palette. And this was two out of 21. So this is how I am setting up and laying out for the random generating. I am starting with one here, going all the way to 21 here. I just did a massive clean out, getting rid of like 10 palettes. Um, and then I'm putting one through 20 in this generator. And I got number two, which means that the eyeshadow palette I'm using is the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. It's super pretty. It smells so good and it's nice purples and pinks and shimmers. So I'm excited to use it because I haven't used it in a while. So I'm going to choose, I'm probably gonna start with this color here in my crease and this color is called suede and i'm going to take a nice fluffy brush and i'm going to go in i also primed my eyes with my concealer because that's just what I tend to do, so. So I'm gonna kinda do a relatively light eyeshadow. Um, I could go very deep into these colors here, but I think I'm gonna stay more towards this side. Um, so next, I think I'm going to take this purple here, which is called Boysenberry, uh, and I'm going to deepen up what I have here a little bit. A slightly smaller brush to go into the crease with. And just really add a bit more purple and a bit more depth. And I'm going to go back in with that first brush and just take the tiniest bit of that first color here. Just the tiniest bit to help blend out. Alright, there's that. Now I'm going to take another fluffy brush. This one. And I'm gonna go with the lightest shade here to help highlight the brow bone. This shade is called Dazzle. I'm gonna go highlight the brow bone with it. So now I'm gonna go into the center of my eye. I did try to see if I wanted to do an extra shadow. I have individual shadows as well as liquid shadows. I'll put so that I'm going to show you the whole process. So I've laid out here six different individual eyeshadows or ones that I'm going to use as maybe like an accent shadow 
liquid shadow, something along those lines. But this time I'm going to start it at zero and zero would obviously be none of them um, and going up to six. And so I'm going to hit generate and it's going to be zero. So I'm not going to use any of these. Zero, which meant I was just sticking with this palette. So I'm going to go with this beautiful color here called this one right here called Razzle. And I'm going to just put that all over the center of my lid. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, shimmery pink. Now, I think just to deepen it up a little bit more, I'm going to go back in with the purple boysenberry color and just kind of go around that outside edge again. And then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that boysenberry and I'm gonna blend it underneath my eye a little bit. This time I'm going to have 10 eyeliners and I'm going to do 0 to 10 again just in case we don't do an eyeliner. And this one's going to be kind of fun because these Ofra pots are all kind of looking the same. So let's see. Number 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ooh, gold. All right. So I ended up getting the liner Palladio. Line Out Loud. It is the gold shade. This was number seven, which is going to be interesting. <laughs> Pinks and silvers and a gold eyeliner, but hey, that's what the generator picked. So here is the eye look with the eyeliner. So that's with the eyeliner. So it's not too bad so far, I don't think. I think it's I think it's okay so far. Now I'm going to move on to my face. Now I'm gonna move on to my face. So for my face, I'm gonna start with my bronzer. Now we are doing bronzers. I have five of them. Number one, I'm gonna use this bronzer right here. That is an Ofra Cosmetics bronzer. The bronzer that I got is this in my Ofra collection. This is the Z palette. It's like a make your own kind of palette. And this is versatile bronzer. And this was the number one pick. I'm gonna take that. Brush. I actually haven't used this bronzer, so this is kind of a fun game to do, or a challenge, I guess, to do because it's really pushing me to use things that I haven't used before. And I mean, this is a really pretty bronzer, so, but I've never grabbed it because I have a bronzer that I really like, so. I tend to not stray a lot, even though I have so much makeup. This is a very pretty bronzer. That's a very pretty bronzer, so. Okay. Thumbs up to the bronzer. <laughs> I'll be using that more often. <laughs> so next I'm gonna go into blush. Let's see how that went. Now I've laid out six blushes and I started my tally zero to six. I got number two, which is this Ofra Pro Palette. 
which is an entire blush palette. So we're going to have to generate this. Out of these 12 colors, the winner is number 12, which is this brownie shade right here. All right, so I got the Ofra Pro palette, which is a huge palette of just blushes. And again, still has the plastic on it. I haven't used it. <laughs> But this is the palette. And the color I got, I have the palette upside down, so I counted it this way, is number 12, the very last color, which is in Rendezvous. So this is very much like a, um, a bronzer kind of color. So I think I'm gonna move it more toward where I would put bronzer as opposed to as a blush only because yeah look at that that's so dark tap that off a little more that is not a blush for me so i'm gonna grab my powder brush and i'm gonna blend with that because that's uh that's a lot <laughs> So that would be a nice blush for a darker skin tone than I am. Um, definitely not a great one for pale people. <laughs> now I'm going to be going into one of my favorite parts of a makeup look, which is highlight. Now I have seven highlighters laid out. I'm gonna do my zero through seven. Number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go with the highlighter and this Pure Cosmetics palette. Look at that. So for the highlighter, we got the Pure Bronze and Brighten Highlighter in the color Afterglow. This was number six. So this is the highlight. And we're gonna take this on our highlight brush, tap it off, and pop it on the cheek. Look at that. That is so pretty. I really like this highlight. I have a ton of Ofra Cosmetics highlights, which again, great, great highlights, but look at that one. Look at the difference. It's so pretty. the face is all done we're gonna go back to the eyes and finish up the eyes I zoomed in a little bit for the eyes so I'm gonna go to eyebrows and then we will finish up the eyes in a minute I have three eyebrow products and I'm doing zero to three again zero being no eyebrows and then etc I got number three which is this hourglass pencil eyebrow product. So for the eyebrow product I got was the Hourglass Eyebrow Stick in the color Soft Brunette. This was number three. And my eyebrows are very simple. I just kind of extend the end. Um, soft Brunette is definitely not my perfect shape, but it's pretty close. And then I'm going to fill in a little bit. I have like a little bit of sparseness, kind of in the center. And that's really it. That's all I have for my eyebrows. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go back into the eyes. I'm going to go in with a mascara now. This time we have four mascaras. I'm doing one through four because it would look crazy without mascara. It'll be number one, which is the... Lights Caramel Splashes, which is the waterproof one from Tarte. So the mascara that I got was number one. It was Tarte Lights Caramel Splashes, which is the waterproof version of their Lights Caramel Lashes. This stuff stays on for days. I've taken like two, three showers and it still has stayed on my eyes. So this stuff is waterproof. I'm not 
doing a ton of mascara on my top lashes because we did actually end up getting some lashes, so that will help with the mascara. Alright, there's the mascara. It's a good mascara. It's not my favorite. I don't reach for it that often unless, you know, I need it to be waterproof, but it's not a bad mascara. So next is the super fun part. We're going to move on to lashes. For lashes, we're going to do zero through three. And generate number two. That is these beautiful ColourPop falsies in Dame. So I ended up getting the ColourPop falsies in the style Dame. Super pretty, super fluttery and gorgeous. So I'm going to apply them off camera and then right, we are back. Lashes are on, applied. I love these eyelashes. I think they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're spread out. They're wispy. I love them. They're incredible. 10 out of 10. Would recommend the ColourPop Dame eyelashes. So good. Now we're moving on to the part that I'm a little more nervous about, which is the lips. First, I'm going to start with the lipsticks. I have six lipsticks. Again, I'm going to go to zero and six and see number five. That is this Sol J. Chanero. This is going to be fun. That's a very dark chocolate brown that I have never used. For the lipstick that I got, it is the Sol de Chanero lipstick in Soul Mate. It is a um, very dark brown, like chocolate brown. Looks a little bit red on camera. Um, I haven't used it. So we're gonna see how it goes, especially with this pink and gold eye. We'll see. <laughs> oh, It's like, it smells like do you remember those chocolate, like, chapstick lip smacker ones that we had as kids? That's what it smells like. This is a lot less pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Kind of thankful. <laughs> so, editing Monica here. I have been putting the products in notes right now so I can put it into a, um, into the description and I just realized that that lipstick was not actually a lipstick it was a lip butter so basically a tinted chapstick and that's why it wasn't as dark <laughs> now I know <laughs> it's definitely a lot lighter than it looks because I mean just that doesn't look like the same thing but I'm thankful for it <laughs> Especially because we have gloss to go on top. So now we're going to see if we're going to do a lip gloss on top. I did zero and seven and I got number three, which is the Alamar Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Dulce. So our gloss is the Alamar Cosmetics Gloss in Dulce. I've used this one once and it's stunning. It's, I don't know why I smell it, but smells pretty good but this is a pinkish nude brown we're gonna go over top and this actually this is a very opaque gloss this is actually going to make it I'm sorry I'm squinting I don't have my glasses on uh this is gonna make it match the eyes a lot better because it's a new <laughs> so now finally setting spray. So we have our six setting sprays all laid out and we're going to do our one through six. Number five, good old trusty Morphe continuous setting spray. We got trusty Morphe continuous setting mist. I love this stuff. I love the mist on it. Just oh, it's beautiful. Now to set. Alright, well, there it is. 
So this is the finished look. I think it turned out actually really well. Um, I wasn't too sure about the gold eyeliner with the pink eyeshadow or the very dark looking lipstick, um, but I think that it definitely worked out pretty well. I think it's pretty cohesive. I don't know. Maybe I'll try this again. It'll get me to try all of my makeup. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other ideas, go ahead and put them in the comments. Like it up. See you guys later. Bye. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit of that boysenberry. getting the ColourPop Falsies and whoops.